Hey, what's up everybody? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. You guys are going to be doing summer camp with Lego Robotics. Hey, I've been there before. I've done tons of summers with EV3, a few with Spike Prime. So today what I want to do is just ease your mind and just show you some of your options that you can do this summer with Lego Robotics. Okay, depending on how much time you have, you might have to tweak and adjust this, but here we go. I would first start off with some definite um, kit responsibility. Let them know what's in it, go over it, let them put their hands on it. Sensors, pieces, motors, you know, wheels, the whole thing. Um, let them know that this is not their kit. Let them know that, hey, when we're done this summer, we'd like everything put back the way it was. We'd like you to be respectful and responsible uh, because these are very expensive kits. Uh, once you've moved in from the responsibility part, you know, with Lego Robotics, they always make a big deal about the sensors. So I would definitely hit up your sensors, distance sensors, color sensors, touch sensors, uh, gyro sensors, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, having them explore those different sensors, what they can do. Um, because that, you know, in a, in a sense with robotics, that's where the direction is heading. You know, sensors that allow robots to do the things that, you know, people don't have to necessarily be there for. The robots can take care of this on their own. So definitely hit up those sensors and then definitely feel free to have some fun with those sensors too once the students know what to do. You can always bust out a sumo bot competition. You know, they're gonna to need to know their color sensor and their or distance or ultrasonic sensors. Uh, feel free to have color sensor mazes where they have to navigate a maze, uh, maybe with a, you know, colors, different colors, directing their robot to go left or right. And then you can also possibly have um, line following races, you know, where, where they can follow a line but then race another robot. Definitely have some fun because that's what kids are coming to your summer camp to do. They're learning, you know, they're there to learn, but they're also there to have fun because you're competing against so many other summer camps, you know, uh, sports camps and other things that are, are vying for their attention. Definitely make sure you hit on the fun because if not, then they're going to be like, man, this is just like school and why should I be here? Uh, once you've done your sensors, I would definitely allow them to explore the different builds that they can use with either the Spike Prime or the EV3. Allow them to be able to mix and match where they have instructions. But, you know, if you have the time, let them mix in some exploratory time where they get to kind of build on their own, especially with those creative kids that, you know, want don't necessarily want to just have to follow page by page of instructions. Let them have some time to be able to think through some things. And then definitely allow them to problem solve, not necessarily with sensors, maybe they can just problem solve mechanically, you know? They're, these are gonna be our future engineers. So have a time where once, you know, they have their sensors done, once they can do a little fun with their sensors. You can have some competitions, but then have some problem solving uh, opportunities also where, you know, they might have to get a, you know, a certain piece and retrieve it. Maybe they need to put a piece a certain place, kind of like a first Lego leak type challenge where they might get points for something. They might get more points if they do it a certain way. You can be creative in this. Um, it would be nice to have a first Lego League board, uh, but not necessarily because, you know, sometimes you can just uh, mark things off on the floor. So don't overthink this, um, you know, use your imagination. But once you have your, you know, your group established, be able to, you know, rotate different things in because that's the beauty about Lego Robotics is just mixing everything up so it's not the same thing every day. Mix in, you know, those, hey, everybody, these are gonna be instructions. We're building this one thing. We're gonna program it to watch it work. We're gonna have some competition time where we get to use what we know to compete against other robots. 
We have learning time where we get to learn about sensors and how to program them. You know, mix and match all of these things up and your summer campers are gonna have an awesome time. Uh, but again, definitely don't forget the fun. I mean, have soccer competitions, kind of feel out what the kids like. You know, if they love soccer, bust out a soccer competition where they get to build their own robot. They have to get the ball into a goal. Um, you know, start to just tap into what they like and gear your um, curriculum or your program towards what they like. Um, you know, if they like Star Wars, you know, kind of find out their, their niche, their theme, what they like to do, and feel free to, you know, modify what you're doing to gear it towards what they like. And they're gonna have a blast. They're gonna have an awesome summer. So, um, you know, definitely, I've thrown down some uh, links to videos where you might incorporate these into your summer program. Definitely have some fun and enjoy this and then learn uh, along the way for next summer. You know, write, jot some notes down and go, well, that didn't work and this was a good idea. So that way next summer, you're not necessarily reinventing everything, but you're taking all the things that went well, uh, improving the things that did not, and then you have a well-oiled lego robotics summer program all right guys hopefully that was helpful hopefully it puts your mind at ease um, and definitely hit up some of my resources so you're not you know having to create everything by yourself and hopefully you have an awesome summer thank you guys so much for watching i am mr hino for missiles lego robotics i am out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.